Hello everyone. Today's video I'm going to show you how to customize and upgrade our boy here, the Biker Scout. Now personally, I don't think this guy is ready to be stopping any rebel scum with just his little blaster pistol. He's not really the most protected person in new universe. Their armor really isn't very strong. He's not going to do very well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your little biker scout here from set number 75292, the Razor Crest, and make him capable, or at least almost capable, of taking out the Mandalorian himself. So, if we're all ready, let's get into it. Brace yourselves, this is going to get good. So the first customization I have for you is an, is an Electro Staff from the video game Fallen Jedi, where Cal Kestis is invading an Imperial base, and he comes across some biker scouts with their little electro staffs. I personally haven't played the game, but I've watched people play it, and I've also seen the scene. <laughs> Funny joke. And I think this is pretty accurate. The build for the electro staff is just a simple bar and one of those hook pieces to connect on the end. And then we have just this little piece. I don't really know how to describe it. It just clicks on. I think most people should have one of these. It's pretty nice, if you ask me. Now our next customization is real simple. We just gave him a standard blaster. I tried multiple different combinations with different endings to the barrel, but it really didn't look as good as this did. So there you go. Now the next customization is just giving him a little hair piece. You know, he's gotta look all slick and tidied up. Can't have him just being bald, imagine. He's just got a nice standard hair piece. It looks really nice and makes him look like he is in the military. Now this final customization is kind of a big one, and I really don't know if I'll be doing big customizations to minifigures like this. I think this would more fit into the custom mock. But here we have the speeder bike. I saw a good chunk of the des design, and as you'll see with multiple of my personal builds, I would get inspired by somebody Unfortunately, I can't remember who made or who inspired me for this one, but this design, the majority of it is my own. I know for a fact that the bars to the steering winglets, I did not design. So credit to whoever did. I'm not taking any credit for this build, that part of it anyway. Underneath we have the cannon. You know, it's really nice. It's held on there pretty decently. We have a little bit of sloping and uh, detailing underneath, helping even it out. Right underneath we have the pedals where our biker scout would put his feet. Now, in universe that is, he would not actually do it with the Lego model. Around the back of the speeder bike we have what I'm assuming would be where the engine is. And it looks pretty nice. There's some grilling on the back held decently on there. Looks like it came together nicely and it's very smooth. This top bit where the handles connect, there's the little one by one with the modified piece sticking out the side. This thing right here, the white one, it helps bring together the top to the bottom. I think it works really well. The handles are, you know, your standard handles. I guarantee you that's been on a speeder bike before. And a little bit of sloping. I'll show you the minifigure when it's on. And here we have our biker scout on top of his bike. You can see he doesn't touch the feet handles, but that's just a casualty you have to make when dealing with Lego minifigures. You're not exactly proportionate, but it's not too bad. He fits on there nicely. You can still move his head around and Looks really nice. He's simply held on there by the handles. There's no studded connection, but that helps get an angle with his feet. Looks pretty nice. I think I think this will be a good one to have in your collection if you don't already have your own speeder. I know there was one in the AT-AT set that is kind of similar to this. This design can be used with the Endor colors. Don't know if you'll have the easiest time finding the browns to replace with the white, but I personally like the speeders used in the Mandalorian. They just looked a little sleeker. They were the same model of speeder, but they had different coloring. 
and it just made it feel a whole lot more tied together and uniform. Very imperial and perf perfectionist, as the kids say these days. And that's about it, folks. We have our biker scout with his new hair mold, the electro staff, a sniper rifle, and his very own speeder bike. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you really enjoyed this video and want to see more content, like, and I'll keep posting. If you want the design to this speeder bike, I'll share it with you guys in another video, probably. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.